do portraits uh, occasionally for money. And uh, so I did a portrait recently of a lady who uh, uh, has had quite a life and uh, uh, found uh, uh, the portrait, you know, luckily she liked it. That's all that matters in the end. But, uh, uh, God, it took me like four hours. It was like a, a, a but I came up, you know, with, the, with an adequate, or better than adequate picture of me. Uh, I draw from life quite a bit, uh, which uh, is a different process than drawing, say, cartoons out of your head for comics. Uh, that's why these, these nudes are all, you know, actual naked ladies I was in the room with. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, you know, and uh, believe it or not, it, it, it's just about as unerotic as uh, a room with a naked and a woman in it could be, you know, possible. Such a thing's possible. It is. And um, so I draw from life quite a bit. And uh, in the past, when I was young, uh, I worked at a TV station, and uh, uh, in those days, there would occasionally be newsworthy court cases, and they would send me out, and I would, you know, draw the accused and the lawyers. They'd show them on TV. You know, this was back in 1982 or whatever. Uh, apparently, that's no longer a viable way to make money. Or it hasn't been for me for anyway for, for decades. <laughs> process itself, um, I, I read a lot, you know, probably like most of the people here, I uh, try to sort of stay informed about what's happening in the world. I look around a lot. Uh, I uh, Normally, I have something with me to draw on all the time, wherever I am. It's a, it's a nervous habit, and it's probably an obnoxious habit to the people that are around me at times, but it's what I do, so I uh, uh, draw pretty constantly, and very often I draw the same things over and over. Yes? You had stretches of time in your life where you did draw. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, got. I was when I first got out of college. Uh, I had I got a, a a commercial art job, and you know it's like in those days we would. This is before computers, and I'll, I'll get into how things are modern. In those days, uh, we literally cut and paste stuff on the boards, and then it was photographed by a staff camera and printed, which is, uh, trying to explain that to, say, someone like John, you know, it's like, I might as well be talking about the dinosaurs, or whatever, that we actually physically handled all this stuff and had to line it up with T-squares and all that. And so I was a paste-up artist for, God, I don't know, for a year or so, and I burned out, I hated it. Occasionally, I'd get to draw something, which is what I wanted to do, but uh, most of it was graphic design stuff. And uh, the uh, whole uh, commercial art industry just burned me out. I didn't want to draw or do anything. So, you know, and I wasn't making any money. You know, and I was like jealous of everybody I went to school with. That was, you know, they were all making lots of money and having vacations and normal lives and stuff. You know, and I was like riding the bus, and, you know, you know talking to schizophrenics and stuff like that. <laughs> and so, so I thought, okay, I, I'm going to become a straight middle class man. I'm going to grow up. You know, so I got a job in an office, you know, and I got married and uh, all that shit. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, had the straight job in the office and did all the crap, you know, and, uh, you know, just hated that even more. And so that's, you know, I realized, well, the problem lies with me. And um, so, Sometime, I guess in the mid '90s or something, I actually started drawing again, and uh, with the realization that I probably was not going to become 